Hey guys, this is Crow here from Crow Archery Motorcycle Adventures. Uh, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. Um, I've just been working, doing my normal thing in life, riding bikes, having fun, all that. And I was on the bike today coming back from a camping trip with some friends of mine. And on the way back, I, I just did a little pit stop now, but on the way back, it came to me, you know, a good idea to kind of throw out there for all you guys. I fully support and believe the idea that you should buy a motorcycle for your mental well-being, okay? And I'm going to give a good example as to how it will help you. So, as you guys know, I used to smoke cigarettes. I know, this is completely random. Where is this coming from? Uh, I was smoking like two packs of cigarettes a day, and then I switched over to vaping. Well... After doing so, I got really cool with the guys who own one of the local vape shops. And while I was in there hanging out one day, playing video games and, you know, hitting vapes and all that, there was a girl that walked in. And she's gorgeous. She is. She's beautiful. And every time she would come in there, she was basically just looking for somebody to talk to. You know, apparently, you know, she went through it really bad with an ex-boyfriend or whatever, and she was stuck in that loop of, oh, is it me? And trying to find every reason why, you know, this relationship that she was in, why it can't work, okay? So she's trying to tell herself all these things when she knows that it's best to just quit talking to this person, walk away, move on with life. Life is not over. You guys get the gist. Well, finally... I'm sitting there and, you know, I'm, I think I was playing like Grand Theft Auto or something. And finally, I kind of just was like, you know what? This is like the fourth time I've heard this girl come in here and do this. So what am I going to do? So I get up and I look at her. I'm like, quit talking. Come on and jump on this bike. Let's go. She's like, what? You know? <laughs> and... So she jumps on, and we go riding around, and we're, you know, at stoplights and stuff like that, we'll, we'll talk back and forth and all that. And then finally, when we get back, we get off, and I'm like, so how do you feel? What are you thinking about? Nothing? Boom. The whole point of it all. And I told her, I said, so you mean to tell me that after riding around on this motorcycle just for a little bit, Everything that you were worried about is just suddenly doesn't matter, right? Yeah, that, you're right. That was awesome. Of course. You see, it's one of those things that once you hit the open road, the only thing that you can focus on is making sure that, one, other cars don't try to pull something stupid and hit you or jake break you or, you know, something like that, but also... The wind in your face and your hair flying everywhere and all that. I mean, there is no greater feeling in the world. So if any of y'all are interested in riding a bike or trying it out and you struggle with like a little bit of mental health issues, I highly recommend that either A, you go buy a bike and you teach yourself how to ride it or, you know, find somebody that can teach you how to do it, or B, you have your significant other get one if they're interested, and then you jump on it and ride around with them. It will seriously change your life. It will really help you out. Now, I understand there's a lot of people that are scared of them, you know, thinking they're murder cycles and stuff like that. And I get it, but the problem isn't really the people riding the bike. The people that you have to worry about are the cars out on the road and people not paying attention. And as long as you're not being an idiot and you're driving it like you would a car. And you're not trying to lane split and constantly pass and go around and do stupid stuff or hitting 100 plus miles an hour trying to go around curves. Like, don't do that. Just drive it like a car. Enjoy it. It's made for you to go out and enjoy. So try it out. All right. I love you guys. Peace.